good morning. No, uh, that thing was uh, a little rough here. It is 6.30 in the morning. Everybody's up. That boat over there, the, not that one, but the other one. That's the one that was drifting right here in the shallows last night. About two feet of water over there. He was, I can't believe it. And that's the boat over there that was dragging last night all over the place. And my anchor alarm last night didn't even go off. But look at that. It's right on the edge. It's about to go off. Right on the edge. Sun is about to come up. Okay, today I'm gonna make this nice fillet of red grouper, and I'm gonna cook it with the bacon fat. So I'm gonna put some bacon, and when the bacon is cooking, I'm gonna lay the uh, red grouper fillet on it. I got two packs of bacon. Right, then I'll flip it in about five minutes. All right, so the red grouper is cooking in one side. I'll leave it for about five minutes with a bacon fat, and then I'll flip it and it should be ready to go. Look at that red grouper fillet. It smells so good. And I did not overcook it. Beautiful. I have never had red grouper for breakfast. This day. Let's see how it tastes. Beautiful. Look at the flakes. Tastes incredible too. And cooked with the bacon fat, the grouper's best friend, which is bacon. That's the treat in the morning. And I made me two pancakes. This breakfast is gonna hold me up all the way till noon. No problems. Definitely red grouper, cut fresh for breakfast when you cook it with the bacon fat. Definitely you have to try it. The taste is just incredible. Definitely that was an awesome breakfast. That's how I like to start my day with a good breakfast and having grouper that was a treat the red grouper has a very mild taste of fish very mild it's it's very unique it's not like other fish that taste real fishy it doesn't now we got our neighbors here they get ready to do some uh, fishing I can't believe this exists right here in the middle of nowhere 70 miles from Key West this is so remote, it's incredible. There's no cell phone towers here. Um, of course, they have a tower up there. That's for their uh, employees. It's probably via Chef Radio. The water is just like the Bahamas. And I'm gonna be doing some exploring in some of the caves. There's another lighthouse. 
Um, I forgot the name of that cave. And everybody here camps on their boats. If you don't have a big cabin cruiser, a center console will do. Like my neighbors here next door, they slept outside. And over there, I can see another boat. They have like a camper in front of the center console. So don't let that limit you. If you don't have a cabin cruiser or air conditioner, you can still come here. It's not gonna be as comfortable, but you can do it. Now the fishing here, way better than the Bahamas. I was impressed yesterday. I have never caught so many red groupers and also yellow tails at the same time. Never. So good structure where I was yesterday. Awesome spot. It's one red grouper after another. Just awesome fishing. I always say the Bahamas is the best fishing. Well, cross that off. The Dry Tortugas is one of the best places to come to fish. And most people don't come fish here because there's no fuel, there's no civilization. You're on your own out here. So 70 miles from Key West to here was 70 miles. If I would have went from Key West to Cuba, 20 more miles, I would have been in Cuba. I gotta clean up. I have to go register with the ranger and I gotta pay $15 and they're gonna give me the rules and regulations about being in the park. The reason I didn't go yesterday is because I got here late and they were closed already. So now it's time to go to the fort and uh, see what's all about. You just got a plane landed right there. That is over there. Just landed right now. Look at this, since the weather was so great yesterday, I only spent 26.4 gallons of fuel, and I did 71 miles. That's the distance from Key West, 71.7 miles to get here. All right, let's see where I'm gonna anchor. So I see the seaplanes are coming in. Prop clear. There's enough room there at the dock, so I can dock there. Well, it looks like there's no place to anchor here or to dock. Everybody's taking the spots. Where can I, uh, where can I dock my boat to register? That's the question of the day. Uh, well, whenever it, anything opens up. Uh, you can go behind the Fort Jeff on the main dock. Morning. Morning, how you doing? Good. Can you bring your boat all the way in so the motor's uh, inside the and uh, we'll probably put you on. We got a fair amount of water right now, so you're good. All right, all right. you're good. A little bit more, and all right, you can go ahead and bring it back. There you go. I gotcha. Thank you, bud. We're just trying to get this uh, other boat off the south beach here that came ashore last night. Did they get ground? Uh, no, but it, it uh, brought in 19 people from Cuba. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, and you're good for two hours here. Beautiful. That Thank won't you. come apart, it's just loose. Thank you. The bolts go all the way through. How was the crossing? It was, uh, it was beautiful. Is there a way? Is there a way? Nothing like it. Perfect. Thank you so much for helping out. You're welcome. So the gentleman told me that I could not anchor anywhere around here. The only place you can anchor is in here. 
the only place you can fish is in here within one mile areas. Uh, this is the loghead key. You can add anchor anywhere on here and no fishing. And you cannot get off this islands here. This is a little case because of uh, turtle nesting. So remember, this is the only place you can enter. And this is where you come in and pay. There's a lot of people camping here. Yeah, last night was a huge shower here. And all these people got rained on. How do you get to the second floor? A uh, couple of different ways. And each one is a bastion. I would have pressed some ropes, climb. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. So uh, each of these corners has a stairwell that goes up. Um, so you could go you could go straight to this one if you want to go all the way to the top. Okay. If you want to go to the second tiers, you need to go to one of these other ones. Okay. It's just the lighthouse right now as we're still finishing finishing that up, so that one's closed off, but any other ones you, you can go directly up awesome awesome what Thanks. i would recommend is directly 180 degrees back uh -huh. you'll see a large 15 inch rodman cannon on its actual carriage and that overlooks loggerhead so a great place for a picture and that's the distance that the cannon shoot as well so you get a good idea of the three nautical miles that they shoot uh, right below that on the second tier we have some of our most ornate brickwork in the whole fort it's an area called the chapel if you look at the top, you'll notice some uh, brickwork doing kind of a wishbone formation, and in the very center is the only brick out of the 16 million that the Master Mason signed. Okay. So, awesome. de definitely recommend checking it awesome. out. Awesome, I will. Thank All you right, so much. Yourself. Thank just you. Be, just be careful along the top. We do have some loose bricks. What I typically tell students is that, you know, I don't go any further in the arm's distance because you'll notice some of the bricks that have fallen. Hey, hey thank you, sir. I appreciate right. your help. Take thank care. you. Yep, enjoy your park. Thank you. This is like fresh water. It looks like this is fresh water right here. It's awesome. There's no lights in here. Now this is the end of the road right here. He said there were some staircases up here. Oh, this is a staircase right here. Ooh. It's pretty high here.
That's the lagerhead key right over there. See the lighthouse? Alright, gotta keep on walking. Just awesome weather here. This is the cannon that I was a little afraid of. It's pointing straight to my boat. And this is the uh, renovated lighthouse. Look at that water there, how clear. There's another beach on this other side here too. And about a million of birds though. What is this here? Well, this is where they uh, shut the cannon. Cool. Very cool. The fort is pretty big. This is the side of the beach here. And there's another little beach right there. This is the opposite side of the fort. Water here is incredible. A lot of history here. This used to be a prison. Imagine this a prison with cannons. That is crazy. Don't get those inmates upset. They'll say, I'll be shooting myself out of the cannon, out of this island. Ah, oh, look at this. It's beautiful. Yeah, a prison with cannons. I like it. This is the complete opposite of the other side. Well, that's the cathedral he was talking about. I gotta go in there. Those fish right there, look. Wow, look at them right there.
looks like tarpons. It's a big group though. See this one right there. It looks like a giant barracuda. I want to see like a six footer right there. A six footer barracuda. I never seen one that big before. Such an awesome place. Yeah, this definitely is an awesome place to visit. It's a lot of history, a lot of cannons. Definitely a lot of cannons. That completes the top circle that I made there, and I'm going to go down. It looks like this was a prison cell. That was another prison cell. Each of them had a window. And I think that's probably how they dispose their uh, their fecal matter. They're grumpies. I think they throw them out the uh, the hole there. It's gonna be a lot of grumpies thrown out from there. And this is where they get their fresh water. Yep. Each of these areas have a freshwater so collecting source. So that's how they used to get their water. All right, let's go check out the cathedral. All right, so you see this right here? Used to be, this is where they kept the cannonballs. And then it was a furnace, but this is where they had the cannonballs. Heated cannonballs removed here. Why would they heat up the cannonballs? I guess a cannonball being real hot goes farther, that's probably it. So they used to heat up the cannonballs here. And they'll come out very hot. Right there, is that get it while it's hot? They used to land right here. And this is where they put the the coals there. Very nice. Hot cannonballs. I think you should look up more history about this because I am new to this so I really don't know any information other than this used to be a prison with cannons on it I don't know why the prisoners had cannons all right this is the cathedral nice Wow, this is very nice. This is where they kept the powder. Nice. 
இருக்கும் This must be a Cuban boat. Yep. See, I told you we're close to Cuba. It's right there. Oh man, that's my cousin. My cousin right there. Freddy. Nah, I didn't know. I didn't know Freddy made it. It's messed up. He hasn't contacted me or anything. Check it out. Look at this engineering. Fiberglass. Look at that. Look at the propeller right there. Man, my cousin Fred made it. He didn't tell me he made it. Check this out. That's the paddles. Now, this is a Japanese engine. This is probably a Datsun. I like the engineering. Propeller, shaft, all the way to the engine. It's a picture of my cousin there. He made it on the boat, he never contacted me. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they used to hug that shoreline. Yeah. But now no more. Yeah, it's, re it's really close. He, he said that last night a boat came here with some Cubans. Did it really? Yeah. Really? He said that, yeah. One of the rangers told me that. You didn't sleep on the boat, you slept in the I, I slept, I slept inside. I had air conditioning, so I slept inside the boat. Yeah, that's what we did. Yeah. 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 But, but those poor guys, were so close those to fishing us. boats that yeah. were center console. Yeah, they, they don't have the proper anchor and the chain. No, no they don't. They just, they these boats are 14,000 pounds and the anchor is about this big, yeah, yeah, 18 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's not going to do it. And no. they have no covering? Uh, no. Not I used to do it back in the day, a 19 footer. I used to go all the way to the Barry Islands on a 19 footer. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, God. 19 footer and uh, I slept outside. Yeah, it was you know It's a Cuba moment <laughs> You know, that's why I look at that ball. That's a, that's a yacht right there <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you be safe It's time to leave so I can give room for all the boaters to park Okay. They had in the 1800s Mitsubishi's. Nice. Visitor center. This used to be another cell, right? Uh, the other side was the guardhouse. This was uh, not a cell. Oh, okay. These uh, forks here, in case of attack. They were shooting from there? Right across uh, the, the walkway. And there's the same on the other side, too. To aim at that. But then there's another room next to that, which was actually where Dr. Mudd was held. He's been here three... He's been in three different places here. Mud. So, yeah, so one down here behind the <clears throat> bastion, all the way down in the in the um, dungeon, uh -huh. and then in the guardhouse over there, and then upstairs on the second, where you can see he actually carved channels into the floor to I collect heard, the drain water. I heard about that one, yeah. He was smart. <laughs> he was <laughs> Doctor, give you that. Yeah, he, he's good. And, um... What a beautiful place. Yeah. Yep. Are you here all day? Uh, I'm here for a couple of days. Okay. Uh, yeah. 11 o'clock, they have a tour. Okay. Uh, it starts at the sign out front, but at 11.05, they meet at the benches. Okay. Uh, 20 minute talk and then um, like a 45 minute walking tour. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah. It's a beautiful place. And yeah. you know what I like? You got air conditioner. I do. Without air conditioner here, it's just, it's rough. It would be. 
I be, would be here. It would be like a prison. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta have air conditioning. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your day. Oh, this is uh, turtle heads. Such an awesome place. This is the camping site here. It must have been crazy here last night with the big storm. Oh, nice camping site here. This is like a beach here for the uh, camping tent. All right, looks like this is the helicopter pad. And it looks like they got bathrooms right there. Yeah, they got bathrooms here. They don't have showers, they got bathrooms. It's a huge grouper. Yeah, he's like a cow. I'm leaving right now. Yep. It looks like the planes come here every 20 to 30 minutes. 
Yeah, that plane smells like um, barbecue, like charcoal. All right, guys, I'm going to take a little break now, and I'll continue this trip on the next video. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Navigate safe.